My name is Kimberly Ashkenazi and I'm the chair of the Affordable Housing Council of Frederick County and a resident of the city of Frederick. Today we wanted to bring to you some experts to share the importance of housing diversity to the overall success and sustainability of our community and the impact housing diversity can have on the performance of our schools and even property values. My name is Lisa Sturdivant and I'm president and founder of LSA Planning. We work with local communities around the country on affordable housing studies, housing needs analysis, and communicating about affordable and workforce housing. And from that work and from the research on housing, we know that housing matters. Housing matters for individuals and families. There is a wide body of research that demonstrates that access to affordable and stable housing is very important for the physical and mental well-being of families and children. We know that families that have access to, to affordable housing have children who do better in school and that the schools themselves do better when all children have access to affordable housing. We also know that affordable housing is really important for building inclusive communities. When there is a diverse stock of housing at all price and rent points, then we have housing that can accommodate people in all stages of life, from first-time home buyers from renters, from older folks, for people with families, you can have access to a whole full range of individuals in your community. Some people are worried about affordable housing or what having lower cost housing in the community might mean for them or for their property values. We know from research and from experience the benefits that affordable housing brings to a community, but there are fears that this type of housing will have a negative impact on property values, for example. When we look at the research on what happens when new affordable housing comes to a community, there is no evidence in the most recent research that shows that that type of affordable housing has a negative impact on property values. And indeed, when we look at communities across the country that have focused on bringing affordable housing into the community, it has often been a catalyst for more community development and has supported really strong community growth and economic resiliency. Now that we know the importance and impact of affordable housing on the overall health of our community, I'm sure that you're asking yourself, but what will it look like? Well, listen up to learn more. In today's affordable housing environment, the days of high-rise housing projects are in effect a um, thing of the past. In today's environment, what we're seeing with affordable housing development are projects that fit in seamlessly within the neighboring, neighboring community. In most cases, we're seeing mixed income projects, meaning there's a variety of different income levels living in the property itself, not just extremely low income households. And the projects and the developments are designed in a way that they're really indistinguishable from market rate projects that you might see um, in, you know, down the street within the community itself. Now, when you walk into these developments, you might see things like community rooms, uh, fitness centers, computer labs, all the things that you would see in a market rate property. And when you go into these units, you'd be amazed at how the high quality of the units within these affordable housing projects. You'll see things like energy efficient appliances, high quality finishes, Again, when you walk in, you wouldn't even know that these projects are limited to persons of certain incomes. And then once the projects are developed themselves, the funding organizations, in order for the owners to maintain their funding, have very high standards for these properties. So with respect to the curb appeal from the outside, the quality of the unit once you walk in, in some cases, the units themselves might be inspected on an annual basis to make sure that the unit is of a high standard. And this is something that you don't even see within market rate housing projects. Some of Frederick County's greatest features are our unique downtown shops and historic character. Much of this vibrancy and appeal is due to successful partnerships. Here, we'll share a little more about how it all works. Communities built utilizing the tax credit program bring economic vitality to the community. They bring people that shop in the shops, and they provide housing for workforce community members. The Maryland Department of Housing and Community Development has a lot of programs available for blight removal to clear the way for green space, future redevelopment, and stabilized structures. 
These programs generate jobs, strengthen the partnership between the local government and the state of Maryland, and lead to safer, healthier, and more attractive spaces for families to live. Adaptive reuse is a concept that we've embraced to revitalize communities. One advantage to adaptive reuse is the opportunity to create sustainable, uniquely designed buildings that fit into the fabric and the history of the community, while also serving a practical purpose. One example here in Frederick County is 520 North Market. It's an adaptive reuse and newly constructed 59-unit apartment building in Frederick's downtown district, where they've transformed a former school and office building into a modern residential rental property for young professionals, seniors, and families. There are examples like these across the state that breathe life into the surrounding community, adding vibrancy to the area, all while filling the community's housing needs. Living in your community, working in your community, and playing in your community fosters community buy-in and preservation. From the sample on your screen, you have tax credit, affordable housing, and market rate communities. Can you tell the difference? If one were to be built in your community, which one would you choose? As we have seen and is proven in the data, affordable housing supports our property values, improves the character of our neighborhoods, is indistinguishable from other properties, and has enhanced design and maintenance standards. Most importantly, it is affordable to our neighbors of all ages, from millennials to baby boomers, young adults, grandparents, and everyone along the income spectrum. Support efforts to bring affordable housing to Frederick County, because affordable housing matters to everyone.